What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Bar for Like Today, here's the thing. Today is the end of the day, and so we have had to pivot our filming to a nighttime shoot, which is hard for me to keep my energy up. It really is, I'm just tired. Like I got two little kids, they're kind of homeschooling, and I'm just exhausted at the end of the day, and Marius is always like, keep your energy up. And he always does this. He, he does this for That's a great- That's not the great... energy thing. What? That's not for energy. Yeah, you do that for energy. You do that for everything. It's your one it's your one behind the camera thing that you do. You do this for everything. You're like, keep it going, or hey, finish the drink, or hey, keep your energy up, or uh, that's not the, the only other thing that you do is if I'm not smiling enough, you go. Yeah. Anyway, Marius is constantly no, coaching doing, me. What, what, what is this that I'm doing now? You're telling me to stop it? Like cut it? Is that what that is? Cut it? it is. Yeah, I mean, like now you're just thinking of things that you don't normally do. He, I don't think he realizes, but unconsciously he just does that for everything. Anyway, he's constantly telling me to, he's like coaching me to keep my energy up, but it's very difficult for me at the end of the day. But I understand why, because we, I used to, there, or there's like the be very beginning of my videos were like, I was like, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. I was just like exhausted working till four o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get up and do videos and I was I was tired and I didn't know how to be on camera. I was kind of nervous and 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 those videos are what they are. And now Marius is kind of scarred by them. So he's constantly making sure that we don't get back to those videos. Uh, so if I'm a little lower in the energy today, I apologize. I know you guys like it when I'm just zip zapping all around the set, just woo -woo -woo -woo. But I'm not gonna do that today. All right, today we are making a cocktail from my good friend, fellow bartender, amazing human being, Chris Day. It is his birthday today. I know this isn't going to be shown on his birthday, but today is his actual birthday. So I just wanna say happy birthday to Chris. Uh, we're doing his cocktail called Lake of Nine. It is a uh, reference to the game God of War, which is the game that he was playing uh, when he created this cocktail. It is a martini variation. I have never actually tried it, but I trust Chris Day so implicitly in his aesthetic and in also his recipes and how talented of a bartender he is that I am willing to make something just see if I like it. I don't know. I'm sure I will. I love everything Chris Day has ever done that I've tasted anyway, but, uh, Maybe, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully I like it, it's the guy's birthday today. I'll say the first thing we're gonna do is just one teaspoon of uh, absinthe. We're using the Vu Pontalier absinthe from Tempest Fugit, I believe makes that. They make a lot of really good stuff. If you guys have access to Tempest Fugit spirits, you should check them out. They do really good stuff. Then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. We're gonna do half an ounce of aquavit. We're using the Ehus aquavit, which is Swedish. And then we're gonna use my very last, I'm hoping this is two ounces. I thought Plymouth would go good with this. He actually uses Ford's gin in this usually, but I don't have Ford's gin. I wasn't able to get Ford's gin. Um, before we shot this, and I thought that uh, Plymouth would go really well. So I'm really hoping that this is, oh, look at that. I'm gonna have to just drink that straight out the bottle because you can't. we can't just keep that much, right? I'm gonna wreck my palate, I'll do it afterward. I don't wanna wreck my palate for How the much drink. is that? That's a one This ounce? right here? Three quarters. three quarters of an ounce, maybe. Ooh, that's about three quarters of an ounce, all right. And then we are going to smash a little doodad right there. Give this a little smacky pants as well. I'm gonna throw some larger rocks in there. And smell that absinthe. It's like that uh, kind of that absinthe, that strong absinthe scent kind of reminds me of that, uh, that scene from Angels with Dirty Faces where James Cagney, I believe it's James Cagney, gets off the elevator and he goes, or someone gets off the elevator and James Cagney's pointing a gun at him and goes, I could smell you. I could smell you off, the, I could smell you when you got off the elevator. I could smell you coming out the elevator or something. I don't know why it reminded me of that, it just did. Random deep thoughts with Leandro. I knew it was you. I could smell you getting off the elevator.
Mmm. Smells good. All right, here we go. Let's give it a little strainy poo. Now, um, you know, I forgot to ask Mr. Day what the garnish was going to be, or if it has a garnish at all. I'm assuming since it's a, man, a martini variation, there's going to be some type of a citrus twist. Unless you decided you wanted to put an olive in here. That's a very nice kind of ethereal sort of clear greenish color. Let's taste it and see what the garnish should be. Maybe the twist is that there is no garnish. I'm gonna put lemon on it. There you can tell, I mean like, so here's the deal. What's really kind of great about this drink, although I gotta say, I kind of want to go with a more botanical gin next time. Um, this is what I'm gonna say about this is that, that's it. Oh yeah, it's good. So, What's really nice is actually, it's a very subtle drink. You can taste the absinthe right when you start to swallow and it mixes with the caraway inside this. I believe it's the caraway that I'm tasting um, inside the uh, Ehus that is pairing so well. The dry vermouth kind of brings it up. It, I think I would want a more botanical gin in this. I kind of feel like the Plymouth almost gets lost in this. But it's nice and clean. This is something that like it like it's so clean and so crisp. Um, I think I might want a little bit more botanical bite. So I did a bad job with the gin. Chris did a fantastic job with the cocktail. Um, now I really want to get a bottle of, of Ford's gin and try it that with that. I, now I have to, um, but it is, it is just fantastic and it's nice and bright with the lemon peel. I'm not sure if that was the garnish that he intended, but it's a very good with the lemon peel. So I'm just going to stick with it. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. The Lake of Nine by Chris Day. Happy birthday, Chris Day. We will come up to San Francisco soon and sit in front of you at Contiki if you're going to, if you're still there. And if not, we will shoot something somewhere else or hang out with you and say hello. And yeah, I don't know. I miss you. And we will see you guys. I'll see you then when we go to San Francisco. When we go to San Francisco, we'll be shooting all sorts of cool stuff there. Yeah, like Did I tell you that Bitters and Bottles reached out to us? Uh, no. So uh, Bitters and Bottles, I got I to gotta shout them out again. I'm going to shout them out in this video again, just because it, it, it it's my kind of my favorite place right now. Uh, I was having a lot of trouble getting uh, certain spirits and I was having trouble getting things that were uh, like not uh, very common uh, during uh, quarantine. Uh, there is a very few stores that I could get to. And then not only that, but all of the delivery services in LA were so overloaded that it was really difficult to get anything like within a couple of days. Like a lot of them would be like, your next delivery window is next Saturday or whatever. So uh, I decided that I would order from Bitters and Bottles in San Francisco. Um, they only ship to California. So unfortunately for you guys outside of California, you can't get anything from them. But for those of you that are in California, I gotta tell you, I ordered my bottles. I found all the stuff that I needed. I saw a whole bunch of stuff that I want. It was only $12.99 delivery and it came within a day and a half. I had it in my hands. It was pretty, pretty amazing. So tip of the hat to you guys. Uh, we definitely want to come visit when we're up in San Francisco and that's all I got to say. And they did not sponsor this video. I am not getting paid to say this. I just genuinely like them and their business and uh, I can't wait to go be able to peruse in the store when all of this is over. Uh, because that is one of my favorite, 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 favorite things to do is to go into a spirit shop and look around and get my hands on everything. All right, guys, I'll see you on another time.